Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how you can create a simple web form in pipe drive, which you can then embed on your website. This is great if you want to replace your website's contact or inquiry form with a pipe drive form so that you can easily feed those new inquiries into your pipe drive account. This isn't going to require any additional software like Zapier or Make because we're going to be using the native web forms feature, which comes as part of the lead booster add on. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one on one help with setting up or getting more out of your Pipedrive account, maybe you want to automate more of your sales process or just get your team using the CRM in the best way, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive support options. To create a web form, the first thing you want to do is navigate to the leads area of your Pipedrive account. And then make sure you have this sidebar open and you should see under the lead booster section, the web forms feature. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, this lead booster add-on is a paid upgrade to Pipedrive. So uh, whatever subscription you're on, you will be able to add the lead booster add-on to whatever subscription you have. As you can see, it's $32.50 per company per month if you pay for the year, or $39 for the company if you pay monthly. So you will have to get that add-on first. Once you've enabled Lead Booster in your account, you can then create any number of web forms. So you can see I've actually got a, a couple of forms here, which I may need to embed on different pages of my website for different types of inquiries that I want to feed into Pipedrive. To create a new web form, I'm gonna click plus web form up the top here. And then Pipedrive is gonna guide me through the steps of uh, to create this form. Firstly, I can specify the language of the form, which is used uh, for translation purposes. And then there are a number of templates that Pipedrive um, is, is recommending here based on different types of forms you may want to create, or you can simply start with a blank form. Let's use the contact form uh, or contact us form for this example. So we'll go ahead and create the form using this template. Now in the middle of the screen, this is the form builder. This is where we can add and customize the different fields that appear in the form. And here's a preview of the form on the right hand side. Now the thing to understand here is that these um, inputs, these questions map to custom fields in your Pipedrive account. If you haven't set up any custom fields yet, go and watch my video on custom fields. We use custom fields to store information either about the contact person. For example, you can see how this, this question, this input field, we're mapping the name to the person object in Pipedrive. This question, we're mapping the email to the person in Pipedrive. And if I want to ask specific questions that map to my lead or deal, I can set those up as custom fields and I can input those into my form. So what I'm gonna do is click through each of these boxes here and I'm gonna customize the inputs on the form. So firstly, with my form title at the top, I can change the title to be whatever I want. So contact us, we're looking forward to hearing from you. So I'll save that there and you can see it's gonna update in my preview. Um, as you can see already, Pipedrive has mapped the name to the person's name. Um, I can choose to add additional help text if I need to, um, and I can choose whether to make this field required or not, which for something like name is a very good idea. Same thing for email, I'm gonna leave that as is. I might put in some help text like, please uh, use your work email, potentially. So you're gonna see that preview text uh, uh, the help text under there. Um, we're gonna ask for their phone and you can see this is set to be optional. This is, this is not required. Now at this point in my form, I'm gonna add a, a new input question, but I want this to map to a field on my lead or deal. So first thing you're gonna to want to do is go to your company settings here and then come down to data fields. And in these settings, this is where you can customize the fields for your leads and deals, person, organization, and so on. And so we can use these fields in our input form. And again, check out the video uh, linked here to see how to set up these custom fields. Now, as you can see here, I have this specific custom field called property address, and this is under the lead slash deal. So what I can do in my form is I can click this little plus button here, and I can put in an input field, and I'm gonna choose, because this is a lead field, I'm gonna choose the lead here as my object. 
and then I'm going to bring in the property address custom field that I've created and I'm going to make this required. And so now you can see that input field showing up in my preview on the right hand side. Let me go ahead and add one more. I'm going to uh, click the plus button again and I'm going to choose um, again a lead field and this time I'm going to choose the deal source. Um, but I don't want this to say deal source. I want this to instead the label to be um, how did you hear about us? Because I want to capture where did they find us so later I can report on what marketing channels are working well for me. Now because this, um, if I show you in my field settings, this uh, deal source field is a single option drop down. You can see here I've got a number of drop down options. I can choose if I want to display all options or I can choose to turn on specific options, um, you know, maybe trade show. I don't want people choosing that option, so I can turn that off if I want. And finally, I'm going to choose to make this required. So now I've got that drop down ready to go. And when that gets filled in, that's going to populate that custom field on my lead. And finally here, instead of where it says your message, I might just tweak the wording here slightly. I might just say, how can we help you? And again, I'm going to choose to make that required. I think that's a bit better for me. Another useful feature here is that I can put in a checkbox to ask if people want to subscribe to my newsletter. This is really useful if I'm using the campaigns add-on. This is again another add-on where you can send newsletters and marketing emails natively from your Pipedrive account. And the best way to get people to sign up and subscribe to your newsletter is using a web form. So what I can do down here, maybe I'll make it the last question, is I can put in an input field and this would be a person field and I can map to the marketing status. And so I can change the wording here, but I'm gonna leave it. Yes, I'd like to receive offers or promotions by email, text or phone. So that's gonna, I'm, I'm explicitly asking people to provide consent to um, opting into my newsletter. So that's gonna put a little checkbox at the bottom. And then the final step, you can customize it if you want, is you can change the wording of the submit button and you can choose to enable or disable spam protection. So I'm pretty happy with the setup and the layout of my form. Uh, so that's the first step complete. The next step is to go to the style tab along the top. This is where I can now customize the look and feel and the branding of the form. Uh, I can change the theme to like a light or a dark theme. I can change colors. I can also put in my own custom brand hex color if I choose to. I can customize the text color here, background colors, uh, and so on. I can also choose from uh, certain fonts for the introduction and all of my labels and field text. You can also change the form style. You can set labels to be on the side of the form or uh, above each field. We can change the uh, input text. We can make it a little bit more compact if we want, or we can make it larger. Uh, and that's gonna be just sort of nice way to get this to match the styling of the website. And we can choose to make the forms either boxes or we can put rounded input fields in again, just to match the style and the, the, the feel of our website. And then finally, I can choose to upload a logo if I choose to. So let's quickly put in uh, the Pool Miners logo here. I can also choose to upload a header image and favicon, which is only used in standalone. What this means is if I'm linking people to this form instead of embedding it on my site, I can, I can have a nice background image if I need to. And then finally at the bottom here, I can choose to enable or disable the uh, little pipe drive branding down the bottom here. So I'm gonna turn that off. Once I'm happy with how my form looks, I'm going to go to the submit options. And this is where I can customize what happens with the response when somebody fills in this form. The first thing I can choose is whether I want to display a simple thank you message. Uh, so your message is sent. Thank you for talking to us. Or I could redirect to a website. This could be useful if I want to maybe link to a Calendly booking page. Maybe I want people to book a call with me, or I could link to a different page on my website if I choose to. And then down here, this is where I can specify how do I want this response to feed into or integrate with Pipedrive. And I can choose whether I want the response to go into my lead inbox, so it's gonna to come to my inbox here, or if I choose deal, it's gonna create a deal on one of my pipelines. When this lead or deal gets created, I can also choose to add a prefix to the title. 
Now this is really useful, especially if I want to trigger some kind of email automation. Perhaps when the form is filled in, I want to automate an email that goes out that says, thank you for your inquiry. So what I could do is put in some text and just call this, you know, contact us form. I'm just gonna put the name of the form. And then later on, what I can do is build an automation where if a deal is created and it contains this specific text, I can send an email saying, thank you for your inquiry. And check out my video linked up here, which shows you how to get started with automation. I can choose because I'm creating a deal, I can specify which pipeline do I want to add this deal to and which stage. So I'm just gonna put them into this qualified lead stage. And finally, I can choose who should be the default owner of this deal. So I'm going to leave this as me uh, and I'm going to make sure that this is only visible to people in my visibility group. Or I could choose to make this visible to everyone in the company if uh, I want to make it um, kind of more open. And finally, down the bottom here, I have the option to get an email notification as well. So as well as receiving, uh, as, re as well as creating a deal that gets assigned to me, I'm actually gonna get an email from Pipedrive that says the form has been filled in and I can put in additional emails down here if I want to alert multiple people. Once I'm happy with my form, the final thing for me to do is to either share or embed this form on my site. So I can, if I want, just copy this link here. I can email this to anyone I want and that's gonna allow the person to open this link on a new page and simply fill in the form. I might choose to do this if I just want to send somebody a link to sign up to my newsletter. But what most people want to do is actually embed the form on their site. So the instructions that you follow down here will depend a little bit on your website. I'm using WordPress uh, and so what I can do is um, I can either follow the classic editor instructions here or actually what I do is just copy this HTML code here and if I then paste this into my WordPress page and then click save. Uh, if I preview that now, I can see how this is gonna look on my website. So now the form actually lives on my website. I can link to this page. I could replace my contact button here and um, link to this page. And now when somebody fills in this form, it's gonna create that deal and contact person in Pipedrive. So I filled in the form here so you can see what happens when I submit this to Pipedrive. I'll just point out that when you type in a property address, this is actually powered by Google, so it's gonna allow the uh, recipients to actually choose their address from Google Maps. I can choose how they found me, I can type my message, and I can now submit that. So here's how the deal looks in Pipedrive. You can see a deal has been created in my qualified lead stage. The address that they filled in on the form has been populated and fills this custom field here. I can also see the deal source Google has been populated and the contact with their email and phone has been populated here. In the middle, I get a bit of a, a snapshot of exactly what they said in the form, including their message, which I can see here. And finally, I can see that this person is subscribed to receive my emails, so I can start marketing to this person. So that is the process of creating a web form that you can embed on your website. This is by far the easiest way to create a form that connects to Pipedrive. It's not the only option. Some people prefer to design their own custom form and have that on their website. But in order to integrate that and, and create a contact and a deal in Pipedrive, it usually requires some custom integration or some additional software like Zapier or Make. And that is the kind of thing that we can help with if needed. But if you want to keep things quick and simple and easy, I do recommend checking out Pipedrive's web forms. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see when I come out with new Pipedrive videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.